welcome back to North Dakota today. February is Heart Health Month, and this morning we're focusing on a condition that we don't normally think affects our children, but it does. We're talking about high blood pressure. Dr. Stephanie Hansen is here with us today to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. So typically, as I just mentioned, we always think about Heart Health Month or really focus on adults. Right. You know, men yeah. and women, as we age, we all try to say, okay, keep our blood pressure down, mm -hmm. make sure that we're heart healthy, but we really need to think about our children. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, heart disease starts somewhere, right? Yeah. And lots of times when you when you have heart disease, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. coronary disease, um, it doesn't just come on abruptly when you're an right. adult. It's something that really can grow and build over time. Okay. And a lot of people don't realize that kids can have high blood pressure as well. Okay, which is really blowing my mind because as we were talking before we came to air as well, we talked about congenital heart conditions. Right. Something that you're typically born with, mm -hmm. so you're monitoring that after mm -hmm. birth, obviously. Yeah. But kids who are just growing up, living mm -hmm. their lives, they are getting high blood pressure. Tell us about what kind of causes that mm -hmm. or what to look out for. Yeah, so, you know, just like in adults, there's a hereditary component mm -hmm. to high blood pressure. Uh, it can be linked to obesity or unhealthy mm -hmm. lifestyle. That's certainly a possibility as well. But then kids can also have a type of hypertension that is related to congenital heart disease, could be related to kidney disease, or problems with the nervous system or the endocrine system. So there can be a wide variety of causes. Wow. So how, as a parent, do you detect that in your young child? Yeah, well, I think it, one thing is just making sure your child is getting regular checkups. Okay. Uh, you know, that's part of what happens when your child goes to the doctor for a checkup is they get their blood pressure checked. Every time? I, I'm like, I don't have children yeah. to take to the doctor, but I'm like, is that a normal routine that we do on the five-year-old? So know. we start checking blood pressure at birth. We okay. make sure that they have healthy blood pressure when they're born. Mm -hmm. uh, and then typically don't check it again until age three. Mm -hmm. However, if they have some risk factors, if they were premature, yes. if they have known heart disease or kidney disease, they may get some blood pressure checks sooner than that. Are there more risk factors? Can we dig into that a little? Yeah, so prematurity okay. is a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that can obviously cause difficulty with organ development yeah. and that can lead to high blood pressure. Uh, congenital heart disease, like we talked about, yeah. about 1% of kids has congenital heart disease. That's oh, a lot, wow. that more than lot. people realize. Yeah. And so those kids should be watched. And then kids with kidney disease too. I mean, that's a, another thing that can elevate blood pressure just like in adults. So what happens if you're at home with your child, you start to notice it, or maybe on your checkups, you're mm -hmm. starting to see that yeah. it is a little high. What does that cause long term? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, uh, you're probably not going to notice signs of high blood okay. pressure in your kid early on. Okay. Um, you know, that y they call it the silent killer for a yeah. reason, is you just don't have a lot of symptoms from it until it's really bad. So that's, again, the importance of getting that screened mm -hmm. at the checkup, because you can catch it early. Um, unchecked high blood pressure can cause damage to the small and medium sized vessels of the body can damage the eyes it can damage the heart it can damage the kidneys it really is over time really not great for you so it's important to catch it early and treat it appropriately okay so what would your advice be to parents this morning on how to manage and treat any type of high blood pressure issue within their children well even before you detect any sign of yeah. high blood pressure, it's just a good reminder, those healthy living habits that we preach, they really are important for a variety of reasons, <laughs> for you and for your kids. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's things like not overeating, making sure you're getting fruits and vegetables in your diet, mm -hmm. avoiding ultra processed foods. Those have so much sodium mm -hmm. in them and that, that really can contribute to high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And then doing something to move your body every yeah. day. Okay, common themes for mm -hmm. anyone, for all ages. Mm -hmm. So tell us about how this winter has been. We're approaching March, you came on, I saw how you feeling, you healthy, how's it going, how's work? How has it been? You know, it's just been a mishmash of everything now okay. at this point. We had that big surge of flu and RSV yeah. early in our cold and flu season. We're still seeing some COVID around, but uh, the last several weeks I've seen a lot of strep, I've seen a lot of gastroenteritis, a okay. little bit of hand, foot and mouth, you know, the germs are out there. Oh my goodness, she's mm -hmm. like, name out of the charades box it sounds like pretty okay. much well keep mm -hmm. your children healthy good luck everybody <laughs> I know it's always hard when you have the young yeah. kids or they're at daycare it's just a big cycle <laughs> of those germs going around mm -hmm. so we are always glad to have you on to let us know how to keep our kiddos healthy uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning thank you yep always a pleasure all right coming up on today's show we have all the details on a new cold and flu medicine we're just continuing this healthy conversation Jillian will join us next